Our topic today is about pledging oneself to Allah and understanding its meanings through verse 207 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah says, and of mankind is he who would give himself to earn the pleasure of Allah. And Allah is full of kindness to his devotees. Giving or selling oneself to Allah means being devoted to Allah's commands. This verse describes people that give their life, their self, and their wealth for the sake of, for the sake of this faith and for the honor of submitting themselves to Allah. This is the standard that the faith of every believer that dedicates his life to Allah is measured. The soul of every believer is so precious that it is only so that it's only worthy price for it is paradise. That is why a believer does not follow desires and animalistic instincts and devilish plots. Illustrating these values, Ibn Abi Dunya narrated on the authority of Uthman ibn Zaida that Muhammad ibn al Hanafiya was asked, Who among people is more valuable? Who among people is more valuable? He said, The ones that are not focused on worldly matters and realize that the only worth for themselves is paradise. So they do not accept any other price for it. The Prophet ﷺ told his family and tribe not to sell themselves except in one market where the buyer is the owner of all souls and gives the good news to the believers of their profitable bargain. As he revealed in Surah At tawbah verse 111, Allah said, Then rejoice in the bargain which you have concluded. That is the supreme success. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet ﷺ gathered his relatives and said, O Bani Abd Manaf, buy yourselves from Allah. O Bani Abd Muttalib, buy yourselves from Allah. O mother of Zubair ibn al Awwam, the aunt of the Prophet, and, and O Fatima bint Muhammad, buy yourselves from Allah, for I cannot defend you before Allah. You both can ask, ask me from my property as much as you like. Dear brothers and sisters, this sale means giving up worldly matters, seeking the hereafter. So it is not sufficient only to do the minimum, like earnings from lawful sources and avoiding what is unlawful, and the minimum in prayers, fasting, and wor or worship. A person needs to dedicate his life and wealth to help others and lift harm from others and to support his, this faith with, with wealth and actions and to call for good and to confront evil, even if it costs him his life. And if he fails in his religious duties to promote and support the faith without a reasonable religious reason, then he favored, he favored himself over pleasing Allah. And he is not included among the group of believers that sold themselves to their Lord. He might even be more guilty than a person that his shortcomings only harm himself. So people of wealth, knowledge, position, and physical abilities that claim that they are believers need to compare themselves to the descriptions of these verses to verify if they are up to these standards and to measure if their claim is real and if they are spending generously from their wealth and time in the service of this faith. Otherwise, they need to review verse 14 of Surah Al-Hujurat. Allah says, the wandering Arabs declared, we have come to believe. Say, you have not come to believe. Instead, you should say, we have surrendered and the belief has not entered your hearts. 
dear brothers and sisters, the images that we illustrated for people that devoted themselves to Allah existed and was manifested in many companions like the four caliphs and in Suhaib that the verse of Surah Al-Baqarah was revealed because of his actions and Abdul Rahman ibn Awf and Sa'd ibn Mu'adh and Sa'd ibn Ubadah and the men of the Ansar that pledged the Prophet to be believers and supporters until he, pre he prevails in his call for this faith. And in return, they will attain paradise. And they spent their wealth and souls to back, to back their pledge and to attain success. The generations that came after the companions followed in their footsteps. So some preferred to give their life savings to charity instead of buying their own freedom like Habib Abi Muhammad and others that gave their weights worth in silver for charity multiple times like Khalid, Khalid al-Tahan and others they were devoted to good deeds hoping to save their necks from the hellfire like Amr ibn Utbah and other examples of people that that humanity benefited, benefited from their actions and continue to benefit because today we are the fruits of their trees that they planted in the soil of piety and irrigated them with the water of faith. And our blessing of being Muslim is a result from their actions. Dear brothers and sisters, the summary is that a Muslim devotes himself to Allah only to please Allah. So he seeks to do good deeds and say the truth and have sincere intentions. So he does not speak with two tongues or deal with people with two faces and not to prefer the positions of others and their luxury over what Allah has of reward. This is the true believer that follows Quran. But faith that is only uttered by the tongue while it's not in the heart and faith that does not produce good deeds and fulfills the obligations, of it, obligations to Islam is a worthless faith that is not beneficial in this life nor in the hereafter. And people with such faith might encounter what Allah described in verse 20 of Surah Al-Aqaf. Allah says, And on the day when those who disbelieve are exposed to the fire, it will be said, You squandered your good things in your worldly life and sought comfort therein. Now, this day, you are rewarded with the fate of humiliation because you were disdainful in the land without a right and because you used to transgress. So, brothers and sisters, I call myself and you from today to have a suc successful trade with Allah by purifying ourselves with good deeds that are beneficial to our communities, especially in places that we need to demonstrate our Muslim identity, like in this country. So we will be worthy of this trade and its reward. So we also need to follow the advice of Ibn Sammak. He said, O son of Adam, you live to gain profits from your actions. So devote yourself in what brings you that brings you the best profit because you will, be, you will not gain anything more precious than yourself. So we need to accustom ourselves on profits so we can win Allah's ultimate prize, which is expensive and worthy of the price. Assalamu alaikum.